Welcome to sunny St. Martin. <laughs> Day four, we're heading to St. Martin. Super excited. Um, right now it's about 8.30 and Amanda's still asleep. We had a long night last night. We were up till after midnight um, at the karaoke superstar uh, event. Turns out to be a nice day, nice and sunny. Real excited to be going to St. Martin. I'm loving, I'm loving this cruise ship. It's so fun to be with so many different cultures. Uh, you know, this morning you can say buongiorno to you or uh, bonjour. <laughs> Everybody all the different colors is awesome. I love it. But this day is a highlight of my trip. Um, one of the reasons we wanted to come here is because of a beach that's world famous called Maho Beach. And uh, it's one of the top three, I think, most dangerous airports in the world. Um, the, there is an airport on the coast and right in front of that is a beach. And you can sit on the beach and literally have airplanes fly feet over your head. Um, a 747 will land literally 30 feet above you. Uh, I guess it's a pretty awesome sight to see. I've seen it, I've known about it since I was at least 12 years old. And uh, one of the highlights for me to come and experience this um, in the flesh. So it's about 1 o'clock and it's Tuesday, it's day four. We are just docking in the gorgeous St. Martin. Can you see this behind us? Um, we haven't done much this morning. I know I know. Jimmy updated you this morning, but we are just, we've just been hanging out all day, had some lunch, um, played some trivia with some new friends we've made. But uh, the highlight's gonna be when we get off the ship today. So, oh, they're dragging out the dock so you can see but it's insanely beautiful here. I cannot even believe it. We're also gonna go to Orient Beach and then just kind of peruse around. We're here till nine o'clock. Nine o'clock today, I think. We're here till, so we've got lots of, lots of fun ahead. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for the absolute nerdy freak out that's gonna happen. I am so freaking excited right now. You guys have no idea. <laughs> like planes <laughs> and beaches. About 40 seconds earlier, there were complete strangers who asked us to take their picture. They were actually going to the same place as us. Turns out, they're from Texas too. Little did we know upon this chance meeting that we would spend the rest of the week with them and have since become great friends. vans and it's eight dollars a person for the van they just fill the van up and they take you to Maho it looks like
can't believe it. I'm finally here at Maho Beach. So one thing about Maho Beach is when you get here to Sunset uh, Bar and Grill, they have all the times listed for when the flights leave and depart. So looking at this, not really sure if it's accurate because it's 2.37 right now and Tupac Air France is supposed to arrive and they're not here yet. But I don't mind waiting. Morning this afternoon, all of the airline airliners uh, came in before we got here around 2:30. So it happens that they come in right around lunchtime. We missed it, uh, unfortunately. Got a few airliners coming in, but a bunch of them leaving. Currently, we have a uh, American Airlines 737 about to take off. Some of the guys actually hang on to the fence here and see if they can't uh, get blown off. The sand comes and switches everybody away. It's just pretty funny. So we're gonna go ahead and see this. But about four o'clock, 15 minutes from now, we're gonna, gonna go over to the French side of the island and check out Orient Beach. It's one of the prettiest beaches in the world, they say. Uh, it's also Papa's Beach, I think. Uh, it's more powerful than I thought it was going to be. I had to, hold, I had to hold on. I wasn't holding on. I watched awesome. Over here and there was we have made it to Orient Beach. This is one of the most beautiful beaches in the world here in St. Martin. That's right. It took us about uh, what, 20 minutes at least from... Uh, Maho Beach to Orient Beach. We're across the countries. We're now in, We're now in France. France. So we're thinking about renting some chairs, and it's fifty dollars for three chairs. So I think we're gonna have a towel or some sand to enjoy Orient Beach today.
finished our day in St. Martin. We had a fantastic time. We made some new friends. We're going to hang out with us tomorrow in Puerto Rico too, so you'll see them again. But we had a great time. We went to Maho Beach and Orient Beach. We have sand in all kinds of crevices. We have a coconut drink to kind of finish our day. Lit up ship in the background. It was a good day. We're tired, a little hungry, going to hit the buffet, but it was really, it was really fun. And it's a beautiful, beautiful island. The only thing I think would be the drawback is that it's kind of expensive for transportation, for taxis and, and food. And it was $50 to rent chairs. And so we really didn't spend any money except on taxis. We spent $60 on taxis total. It was, it's pricey, but beautiful. So. This is the last book I think. There's any alcohol, I don't think. I'm not feeling anything anyway. But uh, six bucks. Nice fresh coconut. And uh, oh, look over this way guava berry. It's a bit bitter, but the guava berry is uh, actually a pretty tasty drink. Got one uh, at Maho Beach today at the Sunset Bar, which is like nine dollars for one drink, so they're <laughs> really pricey at their at their bar. But the guava berry is pretty good. I tried that out. It's a little bitter, uh, but also really sweet. Uh, it's a liqueur that they make here. So try it. Worth trying out at least once. So we're here at Cigars Under the Stars with the captain. Uh, it was really cool. Something unique that that uh, that this 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 ship does is they have the captain come out here uh, under his request to go with uh, the all the uh, customers and guests here on the ship. It's really cool. All the officers up here hanging out, having a, uh, a scotch and a Cuban cigar, Cohiba of the Beagle, uh, here here at uh, the um, pool deck. Really cool experience, they really unique. You can find this on an American ship, I guarantee you. Really cool for the MSC to do this, really cool for the Dominion captain to do this.